Ah, uh, yeah, YouTube, we are back. back. Woo! I'm your host, Paul S. Stuffy Esquire, joined as always by Jay. You stole my carpet cleaning van, Goobles. <laughs> and this is another episode of Unstuffed. Well, I'm going to check John into uh, Shopaholics after this meeting. <laughs> Can't help it. <laughs> because uh, he bought another pair of Grant Stones, baby. I, I don't even, you know. I don't even hold stock in them or yeah. anything. We don't know. even know them or sponsored by them, but no. uh, not only does Jay Goose have a second pair of Grand Stones, Channel Musician, on the same day, so actually that's backtrack, My Boots, Jay Goobles, and Channel Musician RCW all had new boots arrive today. Crazy. So we've got a lot of videos coming up for you fans. Stay tuned. We're going to switch angles and unbox the Grand Stone. All right. Oh, yeah, fans. We're back for the official unboxing. Let her rip, Jay Goobs. The G stones, baby. All right. Uh, stuffy, knife me. Come on. EDC, man. Every gentleman <laughs> should have a knife. <laughs> Every day carry, brother. All right. Where to start? You need to get yourself a nice case, New Holland. Go to Deroni Hardware. Uh, Grand Stone, in case you uh, don't know, does not mess around with their packaging. Well, if you're a channel fan, you need to know about Grant Stone. We've got another video, Jay Goob's Grant Stone Brass Boot. Check it out. Put a link in the description. But, uh, yeah, they're, uh, even their outer packaging is amazing. <laughs> yeah, they don't, like I said, they, they don't mess around too much. They don't mess around with it. All right, actually, the easier way, you know. <laughs> We're semi-professional knife openers. <laughs> Oh, and amateur man. race car drivers. Had I known this side was going to be like this, this might be the easiest. Big boot. Here we go. All right. Yeah, there we go. They say it's strong enough to stand. After you unbox it, let's test it out and film it. <laughs> it's they say it's it. strong enough to stand on the uh, inner box. All right. So, as you can see right there. Ooh, the Edward boot in Maduro shell. Which is uh, Horween's Shell Cordovan in Cigar. For some reason, Grant Stone calls it Maduro. And we love Horween leather. It's a Chicago tannery. If you want quality leather, you want Horween. All right. Leather. Yeah. We love their little card. accessories they include. Thank you, No. Pretty cool. Uh, now, you leather. know your size in Grant Stone, right? Ten and a half is what you bought uh, the other bought ones in. I ten and a half before. Yep. Now is it true to Braddock? What is it? The Braddock my uh, measurement Brannick, tool. Yeah, my Braddock size is. I'm I'm, I'm between a ten and a half and eleven uh, D. Is that standard width D? The standard width is D. Um, they they fit a little big on me, but I I prefer to wear thicker boots anyway or thicker socks, so I, it doesn't matter to me if they're a little big. Oh yeah, this guy's a sock baller. He wears darn tough Vermont at twenty seven dollars okay. a pair. Now, oh, they even ship them in the bag. See, we didn't get bag. to experience this with the yes. brass boot. You had already unboxed them. Stuffy, feel how soft that bag is. Oh, that's nice. That is way different. Can it than almost bag. polish it? Oh, this bag is actually different than the. Yes, it, it, that's a different. Style now, is this bag. a higher price point boot? Yes. All right. So this is made out of shell cordovan, which is a very that's a higher end leather. It's a very expensive leather. I think it takes. I wish I had a shell cordovan jacket. That'd I think awesome. it takes like five to six months to actually tan this leather. Really? So Horween puts a lot of time into just yeah. making the raw material. It is made out of a horse, like the horse quarters. Um, and uh, I love this. It's a this membrane. is like a try on mat so you don't scuff it in case you got to return it. It is made out of the a membrane in the horse's rear hind quarters. Yeah, it's horse hide. Oh, I love that. Even the shoehorn. Very cool. Has a... Uh, and there's some extra... Now, I hope you ordered some cedar shoe uh, boot trees. Oh, yeah, I have some weight. Yeah, and some ready. extra laces. Now, where do you get your cedar? Do they... Does Grant Stone offer cedar um, do they trees on their website? I, we'll know, have to check it out. I can't remember. I, I generally, where do you get yours I, from? I generally just buy them on Amazon. Do you go with boot height ones? Or just the um, no, standard I ones that could be shoe or boot? I go with standard ones. You could go with either or. I just go with the standard. All right. Without further ado. Yeah. I, I, Drum I, roll. I have never seen you Shell You have not Cordovan. seen these yet? Okay. I've never seen Shell Cordovan in real life. So 
I'm really excited. Yeah, we've only watched videos about it. Now, was this a limited release? Yes. They, they don't normally carry. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Look. Wow. Are those like a copper or brass eyelet? Yes. Wow. wow. Is it? Look what is that. that? Is that copper? I believe that's a ant. They call it a antique brass. brass. Yeah. So it's got the three speed. Yeah. Speed it, lace. So this is very. Are those leather laces too? Um, no, that looks like a, a wax lace. Just a smaller. So on the Edward boot, very similar to the diesel boot, but as you can see, there's no there's no stitching right here. This is all one piece, and they have more uh, of the eyelets to make it get, give it a dressier aesthetic. Yeah, definitely. Than Edward. Your other ones were lug sole, which I know is controversial for some boot uh people now this this is got oh it's almost sole. a day night it's their it's their version of day night but it, yeah. you still have a stacked leather heel which looks like real stacked leather is this a full 360 degree welt um i believe so yes looks like it and you've definitely got layers of leather i can't, wow i think you've got the day night type sole then what a leather midsole leather midsole for sure I can't believe how, like, the color. Wow, they are beautiful. Yeah, I hope the camera's picking up the true color. Of Obviously, I'm the trying daylight, to zoom. The daylight, you'd be able to pick it up. Better. Yeah, well, I put on natural light on the overhead lights over us. The depth of the color. I, you know, okay, It's so snowing in the Caribbean of the north. Otherwise, we normally do an outside shot of you walking in your boots. It but is storming out there. Snowmageddon. Snowmageddon. We're all going to die. <laughs> um, so, when I first thought about these boots i was like oh that make a great pair of dressier like a chocolate brown boot oh, however chocolate. when i see pictures of this leather worn and beat up and patinaed they look amazing are you gonna so let them patina i might beat the crap out of these things i don't know i have not decided what i want to do because it look how these look so beautiful right now i don't want to destroy them at all you want to keep them in the a glass case of emotion? I, I kind of do. This, I think, you know, I think they actually put some, I don't know what kind of polish or finish they put on them. I think Grant Stone actually put something on them before they ship. Because you can, act, wow. Yeah, this is, these things are, these things are amazing. So when I first started collecting boots, when I first heard about a pair of Shell Cordovan, I said, all right, I need to get a pair of shell cordovan boots and most of the time they come in black or color eight which is a burgundy and then the rare times they release a cigar which is a this dark chocolate brown like this and when i saw grant stone was doing a release of these i said all right i think i'm gonna do it and i pre-ordered them about five months ago six months ago and they just came and wow yeah these these are unbelievable I can't wait to get these. And then on. just a quick recap on the company. They are assembled in China, but uh, it's a local Michigan headquarters. Uh, and we, we love Michigan. We're from Michigan, um, west side of the state, high quality. Uh, it's a small, you know, family run assembly in China. It's not a sweatshop. And then it's a family run company who's, uh, you know, one of the uh, owners, the father, it's a father and son. Worked for Alden, which if you're into boots, you know Alden, boots and shoes, high end. And the grandfather was an Alden salesman. The company was named after Grant Stone, a, an Alden salesman that was friends of the grandfather. So I just love their story. I love that they're from Michigan. And then I love that they source the best products, found a way to assemble them and get them produced at a, you know, they're still on the lower end to a lot of higher end uh, boots, but still use all the amazing quality products, materials, and techniques. So we're well, huge fans. Of these Grant these are definitely not on the lower end price. Ones. Well, yeah, these ones. <laughs> these ones in particular are. Uh, if you want to get yourself into a pair of Shell Corvins, they are not. Uh, they're not cheap. However, I these look amazing. I to be honest, I can't wait. Yeah. I think uh, that's all she wrote for today, fans. We can't do any outdoor shots, so you stay classy. And rock and roll.